What is happening everybody? Curdy B here and welcome to the finale of our Pokemon O'Neill Radical Mode Hardcore Nuzlocke. Yes, we made it all the way to my three Mount Silver up to the Pokemon League and we're about to take on the Elite Four and Champions. So hopefully this will be our final um, step uh, towards greatness and we're going to get this one done on our first attempt no less. So hopefully so we, we, we make it all the way. So as usual everybody, I thank you so much for watching the content. Thank you very, very much for your support. Especially if you're a regular viewer. I'm happy to have you, as long as you're happy to have me. If this is the first time you're watching any of my content and you are brand new to the channel, then I have to let you know that please be aware that I do like to swear. If you prefer PG, you may not like me, but if swearing is okay, then come on and let's play. So with all that fucking bollocks out of the road, let's get started. So, I spent ages um, calculating the best team I could. I had a few people in mind. Uh, our last fight with the Leaf threw a spanner into the works regarding a lot of several different things. Especially our sixth member uh, of the team. So uh, I've put it to, uh, I went ahead and done my calculations. Um, and this is going to be our team for the Elite Four. So, we will have Cutlery, the Bronzong, who has come in uh, to replace our dearly departed uh, Agrom. Uh, for now, holding the leftovers. Now, during the Elite Four and Champion, I'm going to be changing items and also be changing um, some moves as well. But for now, Bronzong. Oh, oh Bronzong has levitate a special defense plus nature which is fantastic and we have stealth rock iron head sunny day and recover sunny day is very very important for the upcoming fight with uh, lorelei coming with us as well is pringles the jellicent uh, who's been with our, our, our team for quite a long time now uh holding the rocky helmet for now and for now having shadow ball water spout recover and protect um, we are going to be making good use of uh, Jellicent through a couple of important fights here especially against Bruno um, so yeah you're going to be our big bulky water type our staple of the team Orange the Crobat holding no item to power up the acrobatics uh, with protect cross poison and leech life we are we are going to maybe tinker with your moveset later on you are here to help us with getting past um, Bruno and being basically our fast, you know, possible revenge killer if required. Pastry is new to the team. Pastry the Absol holding for now the black glasses, and you're pretty much here to use one move and one move only, which is Sucker Punch. We will have Rock Smash, Perry Song on me first, just to be safe. But you're pretty much here to sucker punch things to death. You're going to hopefully help us with um, defeating uh, Agatha and her ghost types and a champion uh, a champion's alakazam later on but you're here to sucker punch things you're going to mostly hold the choice band later but uh for now that is going to be held by a couple other pokemon cream our mvp cream the del Cari, who i remember when we got skitty and i was so upset like skitty what that's terrible but Skitty has been buffed in this game del Cari is a monster we've relied on del Cari and cream for so much I'm going to rely on uh, her even further to get us through some tough spots, um, especially with uh, Lance, the Dragon Master. So for now, Cream is holding the Choice Scarf, and we have Fake Out, Return, Facade, newly taught Facade, and Thunder Wave. The reason we have Facade is just in case we suffer a burn, and our strategy for uh, Salamence, uh, offered for Lance, involves us maybe having to switch into a fire blast from what I can calc and we, if we got burned that would just ruin our entire strategy so we have facade there uh, for now just in case we uh, we need to do something else so hold that choice scarf for now and our sixth member so we had to replace habanero the dearly departed nine tails our sixth member is croissant the florges uh, newly have never used once and uh, welcome to the team croissant buddy um, you are here for basically the counter specific things it's here to hopefully get past Lapras in the Lorelei fight 
and for the the champion at the very end take on the Rhyperior. so you're here to to tank special moves we got your plus special defense nature bloom which is basically uh, gives us our stab uh, on our grass type attacks without having a grass typing which is fantastic um, so you're here just again to tank some special hits get a little bit of wish support for for now your um move set is moon blast wish solar beam and roma therapy you're here to help heal people um get rid of any status if possible um so yeah i thought long and hard about who to bring and i couldn't figure out who would be best and um, when checking through the team we didn't really have anyone who could tank a special hit or two so we, we decided to go with croissant actually yeah that's fine so here we go we're going to go into actually let's just heal make sure everyone has all their pp for all their moves we stocked up on our ethers and we have plenty of healing items so we're fine greetings challenger there will be no turning back your pokemon league challenge will begin fantastic rules and clarifications of how the challenge will work so not be able to use healing items we don't do that anyway due to our hardcore nuzlocke rules that's fine Okay, so, well, right, well, hold on, how am I supposed to heal? You'll be able to leave the league until you finish the challenge. Oh, we, oh okay, oh, that's good, actually, so it means you don't have to then divvy out ether, so we'll be healed after every battle. Fantastic, that's really good. So, as far as I know, it's, um, the league starts off with 71, and then when you get to Agatha, it's 72, uh, when you get to Lance, it's 73, and the champion has uh, levels of 75, so we'll, we'll rare candy as and when we need to throughout the throughout the, uh, uh, the battles. Absolutely, fucking lately we want to continue. So as I said, we're going to have certain strategies. Or is Lorelai? We're going to have certain strategies for certain particular um, leaders, or sorry, elite four members. We're going to change a few moves now and again, which I need to remind myself to do. But let's just make sure we got everybody. Everyone's got the right items. Leftovers. Rocky helmet. Nothing. Black glasses. You're not being used today. Choice scarf. Miracle seed. Perfect. The reason why Croissant has a miracle seed is we've cut our solar beam. And it doesn't quite kill Lapras 100%. So we have to use the miracle seed to get that extra boomph to make sure it dies. Here we go. Oh, what voice did I give you? Um... I was no, that's Leaf. <laughs> I was waiting for you, Curdy B. You already caught my attention at our first meeting at the entrance to Rock Tunnel. But now it's time to prove your worth as a challenger. So I formally introduce myself. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four, and my ice type techniques have been unrivaled. When I feed your Pokemon, they will be at my mercy. They won't be able to do anything to defend themselves. All set to start fighting then? A 20 degree below zero challenge awaits you. Let's get started. Let's fucking go! Lorelei, challenge you. Right. Lorelei leads off with Aurorus, which sets up the snow. So, this is the reason why we've got Sunny Day on our. Uh, cutlery here to get rid of the fucking heal so sunny day do not freeze me thank you so like the snow that means the blizzard's accuracy is no longer 100 percent we're now going to take this opportunity to set up, set up stealth rock because again most of the pokemon in this fight are weak to stealth rock so why wouldn't me you do likewise that's fine we can take that and what we're going to do now we're going to attack Aurorus with an Iron Head. It has a Focus Sash, so uh, we won't kill it outright. That's fine. And it's going to hit it one more time. There we go. Aurorus goes down. Simple enough. We've got, we've got, it recovers there, so we've got plenty of health we can get back. What comes out next? Titan. Okay. So the Titan has Earthquake, Ice Spinner, Liquidation, 
And a fourth move I can't remember. Is it Stone Edge? It might be. No, Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam. So the only thing that can really do this is Liquidation. So I'm going to take the opportunity now to recover. Because that shouldn't do much in the sun. Okay. So now I'm going to switch into Pringles. If it tries to do Liquidation again, that'll heal us. Or I can do that. And we're going to Rocky Helmet Life Orb thing this thing to death, so recover. I'm just going to let it kill itself. Just don't crit us, please. Ooh, with that crit us, we were dead. We'll do one more. See, this is the thing about this game. Why is that using that move? Why would I not use Earthquake again? This is why I can't protect things, so again, I'm going to recover again, that's fine. Why did, why, why did you not use Earthquake? It makes no sense. But you're down anyway, okay. So that's so Titan down. I expect Weavile to come in here, because it's a dark type. Then we're back to full health, that's good. Oh! Okay. Why are you coming in now? Fuck. Um. Right. So what I need to do, the plan for Lapras is to get Sunny Day up again, and then switch in Florges and Solar Beam to death. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not trying not to go into Bronzong now. They were full health at least, so there should be Thunderbolt here. So it evolves into Mega Lapras, which is just the Gigamax Lapras. It should be Thunderbolt. Why the fuck would you use Blizzard against a water type? Okay, right, I'm gonna recover. Good. So now, set up the sun, switch into Florges, and Solar Beam to death. Okay. Now we have to live two hits from Lapras here. Go, Croissant. Don't crit me, don't freeze me. We have to live a crit here. We must live a crit. We must live a crit. Yes! Haha! -ha! Yes! Haha! -ha! Good old Blizzard missing. That takes that out. Fantastic. Great. So we have left now Weavile, Jinx, and Mamoswine. Mamoswine's in. And we're just going to one-on-one -on -one this thing with uh, with cutlery. So this is going to be a game. So Mama Swine has Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Stone Age, and Earthquake. So the only move it's going to want to use against us is Icicle Crash. So we just need to avoid flinching all the time here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recover once. Don't flinch me. Do not flinch me. Thank you. Iron Head twice. Oh, we're, we're doing some serious dodging here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right, one more Iron Head, take it out. Oh! You're dead? What the fuck did you have for? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that all day long. Great. Weave Island next. Oh, right, okay. So, the, well, the plan is switch in uh, Cream to Weave on the Night Slash, and then I should be able to just uh, also one shot Mammoth Swine with Return. So, Night Slash. 
Low kick, that's fine. Why would you, again, why would you use low kick there? You have Night Slash. I'm not going to complain. Return. Takes out Weavile. And Mama Swine should be weak enough for us to take out with the return as well. Since we are, we are faster with Choice Scarf. Stay in. Return. Lorelei down! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Happy days, right. Oh. Da -da -da. I don't care about your fucking crap now. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to do voices. I'm just going to get through here. So, one down. And we'll get prepared and get things ready for uh, Bruno next. So, time for Bruno then. So, the changes we have made to our team for Bruno. We're leading off with Orange the Crobat. And we're giving Orange a Focus Sash. The reason being is... We want to use uh, Crobat to take down the Hawlucha. But there's a chance the Hawlucha might use Sky Attack. And it's a one turn move because it has a Power Herb. And if it crits us, Orange dies. And we need Orange for later on, especially against the Champion. So we're going to put on a Focus Sash just in case we get critical hit. The big thing though is though, that then affects our Acrobatics damage. So we've taught uh, Crobat Fly to make up for this because acrobatics only does the double damage if we uh, don't have an item so now that we do have an item that'll only do 55 base so we want to have uh, as much uh, power as we can other changes are we've now given Pringles the leftovers and swapped that with uh, Cotley's Rocky Helmet you're not being used so you're fine we've now given Cream the choice band because we're faster than everything uh, that this uh, the the Bruno has, and we can one shot things with the turn. Hopefully, um, we give him croissant uh, the Sylvan cloth, so no more uh, miracle save. Uh, we've actually taught uh, Sylvan cloth, or sorry, we've taught croissant protect, and we've taught um, cutlery protect as well. So here we go with Bruno. I'm not doing your voice. I can't be fucking annoyed now. Let's just get through this. Attack Challenger. Bruno challenges you. So, Bruno leads off with Halucha. So, Halucha has Sky Attack, Sword Stance, U Turn, and High Jump Kick. So, the only things it should want to do here are either Sword Stance or Sky Attack. If it's Sword Stance, great. If it's uh, Sky Attack, we have to make sure we don't get crit. So, we're going to use Fly. Fine. Fly. Now that's going to bring us into focus sash. We that did crit. Wow. Okay. So now what we want to do is go straight into Pringles because if you use a sky attack again. We can protect that. High jump kick will miss, and U-turn will do absolutely nothing. So into Pringles we go. That could not have worked out better had I planned that. The whole thing I wanted to do was get Pringles in. So if Celix does come in, we can one shot with Water Spout. That is immense. That is actually fantastic. I can't believe that. That is wonderful. So, so Hawlucha now is no longer a threat because Sky Attack will be two turns. It's nearly dead. So we can actually just take on pretty much the rest of the... Apart from maybe Lucario, we can take on the rest of these Pokemon with Jellicent. So Water Spike kills Steelix all day. Wow, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> I, 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 I was not expecting that. The AI just does, does, does weird things in this fan game. It, it just does weird switches and weird move choices. It's bizarre. So let's hit one lead. So I'm just going to stand in Water Spout again. Why are you using Blaze Kick? I'm going to protect here. Because it has, it has Stone... Yes, Stone... It has High, high, high Jump Kick, Stone Edge, Blaze Kick. And... I can't remember your other move. Uh, bounce. So, you should be using Stone Edge all the time, to be honest, but 
Yeah, if you want to use that, it's fine by me. Yes, we can just protect and avoid that, it's fine. Again, why you're using that, I'm not sure, but sure. I'm going to just gradually wear these things down then. So it's just a war of attrition at the minute. We just we have leftovers to recover health. We've got recover there is fine. We're gonna protect against the bounce again. And then after this there's Hitmon Lee, Lucario, Mega Machamp, and Um La Holly. Just back but I won't be able to do anything. So yeah, that's fine. Celix is gone. I think Lucario might come in here. Cream level 72, fantastic. Yep, Lucario. So, we're now in a position. I'm going to get some damage on this thing. Cream on the Dark Pulse. And we one shot everything with Cream. Don't crit. It did crit! And it still was fine, so yeah, just return, return, return. Down goes the Cario. Down goes Hitmonchan. Down goes the Champ. Now, the only thing I'm going to be sure, I'm not sure if I'm faster than Holucha. So, for Holucha, I'm going to go back into Pringles. I'm not sure if I'm faster. That's fine because Swords Dance is now two turns. Or, sorry, Sci Attack is now two turns. That does fuck all. That was easier than I thought it would be! Wow! <laughs> That switch into the, the Steelix was just... I I can't believe that. that. I couldn't have planned that any better. Wow. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right. Okay. Two down and two to go. Wow. This has gone more smooth than I thought. Now, the next one, Agatha, is where there might be a problem. We have to play a few games with regards to maybe stalling a few things out. So... Preparations for Agatha now. Agatha time. So, we're leading off with Pastry, who's going to be our main damage, um, or main killer in this one. Give it the choice ban, so basically we're going to suck sucker punch everything to hopeful death. Uh, only other changes, we've given Pringles a focus sash in case we need to switch it in to a move, and that move is a random ass shadow ball. Uh, we don't want to one, be one shot from that. You're still holding the Rocky Helmet. I've given Cutlery Revenge, which is Payback, um, just in case, because what, what, what Cutlery is going to be used for is to hopefully one-on-one -on -one the Crobat. Now, what the Crobat does, it has U-Turn. So what it might want to do is then switch out to another Ghost type. So what the plan is there is if I click Revenge on a U-Turn, then we might get some serious damage on on whatever comes in. So that's our, our, our reason behind that. We don't need Iron Head right now. And we can reteach Iron Head if we need to. But honestly, after this fight, apart from you being used to set up Stealth Rocks, uh, Cutlery is not going to be doing much of any offense. But uh, we will see anyway. But uh, that's the big change there. You still have no item. Uh, we're giving you now the Sylvan Cloth because we're going to be using your Fake Out Return combo and to hopefully good effect here. I'm giving Croissant leftovers, so let, Croissant has a big uh, role to play in, in this one in terms of wish passing and stalling out PP from Fire Blast from Chandelure because we, we have a plan regarding that. So in a perfect world, I switch in uh, 
pastry and just sucker punch everything to death, but it's not going to work out that way, unfortunately, because there's things that won't die from uh, from choice band sucker punch, uh, such as crowbat and the Miss Magius. Everything else is fine, but we need to get it. We can't keep switching pastry in because uh, it is very weak. So we need to bring it in. Uh, hopefully, on resistant moves or moves are not going to happen. So uh, we're going to get ready now for Agatha. Little creature. <laughs> Fuck off. Fiddling with this Pokedex. Is that a euphemism? euphemism? Right. Come on, you old fuck. Agatha challenges us. Right. Agatha has Dragapult, which is going to instantly be sent to another dimension with our choice banded Sucker Punch. So, bye. Now, I imagine it's going to be Miss Magius comes in here. Because it is a fairy type, and we'll want to use a fairy move in theory on pastry. Or you could use Crobat. Okay. So, Crobat is a straight switch in the cutlery. That's brilliant. Now, so, we have a choice now. Uh, no, uh, there's no choice. Stealth Rock is always very important. So Stealth Rock up. Oh, I could have used Revenge. But at least when Crowbat goes in, it's going to get a big chunk of health. So, um, I'm going to protect with... No, I'm not going to protect because it's going to... Golurk has Earthquake, which can't touch us. Shadow Punch, which is super effective. Ice Punch, which does nothing, and Thunder Punch, which is not ideal. So, with that being said, we're going to go into Cream, who's immune to Ghost Moves, being normal type. And we should be able to fake out... Perfect! And fake out Return, I've Calc should kill. So fake out. And Return. Perfect! So, could be Crobat coming back in then? Fine. Probably wants to cross poison. So back in the cutlery. All right. Right. This is the big problem. So Chandelier is the big threat here. Even bigger so than Mega Gengar. It has Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Solar Beam with a Power Herb. And Will O Wisp. So, what I need to do here, I need to get to use Power Herb, so it means that Shadow uh, it means that Solar Beam is two turns, and I need to use up all its Fire Blast. Because what might want I want to do is switch in Pastry to one shot it with uh, Sucker Punch. So I'm going to protect here. Use Fire Blast. No. So now it's going to be a Wish Protect kind of situation here. So Cross Sont comes in. That's one Fire Blast. I'm going to Protect. It's fine. Wish. That's actually alright. Shouldn't kill us. Protect. Shadow Ball. So we're good. We're back to nearly full health. Wish again. That's two Fire Blasts. Fuck! Do you have aromatherapy if we need it? Protect. Three fire blasts. Uh, 
I'm going to take this opportunity to use aromatherapy. Good. Oh, perfect. That was Moon Blast, this thing. That's the last Fire Blast. So now there's no more Fire Blasts. So I can only use Shadow Ball. So I'm going to wish. And I'm going to go now into pastry. We get the health back. I mean sucker punch to kill. Yeah, so that's worked out. So Crobat's left. We should be able to kill this thing now with the sucker punch. Now I have Miss Magis. So, what I need to do is get into a position where I can bring Pastry back in, kill the Shand the Miss Magis with Sucker Punch, and then kill Mega Gengar with Sucker Punch as well. So, plan Pokemon in. I want to go to Cream. Right, that changes things. I don't think that pastry is living on a nasty plot shadow ball. I'm gonna fake out anyway. We can kill with, I think, for, with Return From Here. Right, how am I going to work this? Okay, so Miss, so Mega Gengar is going to come in, it's going to Mega Evolve, and it has unfortunately Shadow Tag. If I kill with cream, it's going to use sludge bomb, which will kill pastry. The Mega Gengar, what are your moves? Your sludge ball, thunderbolt, shadow ball, and hypnosis. Oh fuck, this is always a problem. What did I do? I don't want anything to die right now. I could I could sacrifice Chris Nani, Chris on for later. I'd rather, I'd rather have all six Pokemon for the champion fight. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Shadow Tide doesn't affect ghost types. And this this is like from Jenny and all this these mechanics are from Jenny and onwards, aren't they? What I could okay, what I could do, what I could do, if if that's the case, what I could do is when Gengar comes in, switch in Pringles on the 
on the Sludge Bomb. That will bait either Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt. And because Pringles is Ghost type, I can then switch. A Shadow Tag won't matter. I can switch into Pastry and then one shot with uh, Sucker Punch. I, I think that's the only way around this uh, without having to sacrifice someone to bring in Pastry now. If I bring in Pastry now, it dies. So I think that's what we have to. We right. We, we kill. We kill the Miss Magus now with Cream. So return. Okay. So with Mega Gengar left. So we switch into Pringles on what is hopefully a sludge bomb here. Perfect. Now, we switch into pastry. Don't use sludge bomb again. Please do not use sludge bomb again. Please. Yes. We live that. And um, we sucker punch to kill. Yes! Okay. That went... Yeah, okay, yeah, it wasn't exactly the plan I wanted, but yeah. We're still alive. We're still good. Okay. Now we're going to go up against what I, what I, I think is going to be the easiest part of, of this run. Uh, Dragon, uh, Tamer Lance, the champion. I'm going to get prepared for that. We have a great strategy for that, but it basically involves Cream just one-shotting everything. But uh, let's get prepared for that then. Alright, time for Lance then. So this should hopefully be straightforward enough. So our plan is... We've given Cutlery a Focus Sash. The reason being is uh, Sal or Lance leads off with Salamence, who has Fire Blast, uh, which we don't want to get hit with a critical hit and um, for Cutlery to die. So this gives us a chance to set up those Stealth Rocks, which we need to set up. The reason why we need Stealth Rock is because there is a Dragonite later on down the line here that has multi-scale. And we need to make sure we, we have... Hmm. I just realized this thing could Dragon Dance at the start. Why am I... I'm complicating this now. Uh, what if the Salem's Dragon Dances? It'll be faster. And that will probably come in until the very end. Did I just one shot everything then until Dragonite comes out? No, I need, I need the stealth rocks up um, to guarantee kills. Right, original plan. Yep, cut array and then cream. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, now, now, now I'm conflicted with the plan. Okay. I haven't looked forward to a fight this hard in a long time, Challenger Curti B. You've already shown me a lot of dense team rocket. But now it's time to drop all the half measures. I assume you're already familiar with dragon type Pokemon. They are formidable creatures, almost legendary. In the right hands, they have virtually no weaknesses. They are almost invincible. Well, do you know already know what you're going to lose? Already know you're going to lose? I, Lance, the last of the Elite Four, 
We'll put an end to your time in the Pokemon League. Will you fuck, you red her cape or an arse wipe? So, Salamence is here. Stealth Rock. Don't burn and creep me at the same time. Oh, that's what I wanted not to happen. Fuck. Okay, right, okay. Um, revenge. I am fucked already. I'm screwed already. I'm screwed. I have to sacrifice somebody. Oh, this is uh, this is what I was. I just literally voiced this concern. I who do I who can I go in without? I need I need everybody for the uh Orange is probably the one that's least susceptible. I forgot you had the life orb! The only problem is now, what do you do? I think I'm just going to have to let Orange die here. And Cream can clean up. I need Colony to set up Stealth Rocks. I need Pastry for the Alkazam. I wanted to use Orange for the Heracross. But Cream might let me get away with that. I'm sorry, Orange Body, you have to go down. I need to stop in Cream. I'm so sorry. You've been with us for so long. I'm sorry, buddy. Acrobatics. I'm so sorry, buddy. That was the one thing I didn't want to happen. The thing using Dragon Dance. Uh, right, so it's just Cream Knight, just one shots everything. Okay, so return. We have to get past that. Return. Die. Hi Dragon, return, die. Haxorus, return, die. Kingdra, 
Return. Die. Dragonite. Return. Die. Now we have to make sure we're keeping cream for the Heracross then. We have no other option for that. Oh no, not Crobat! Oh, deaths. 21. Devil Kev was nice, 75. I can't believe you managed to defeat my fearsome dragons. Without a doubt, your mastery is worthy of praise. You have become the champion of Kanto. In other words, the strongest trader in the entire region. Also, I would say, if it weren't for a curious eventuality that has occurred, you see, this year there were two challengers who have managed to defeat the members of the Elite Four. Other than you, the one who also did it a few hours ago was Ballroot. This is unusual, but now you have to face each other to decide who takes the rightful title of champion. Hey, we don't want to miss that for the world. Oh. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Your shift is over. Yeah, this is This is not professional at all. <laughs> okay. Step on the teleport time reach the final to learn up a sort of ball route. Okay, right. Let's get things ready for we're a Pokemon down, but let's get ready for the final battle against Ball Root. So we are ready to take on Ball Root. So changes. Another photo sash given to Cutlery. Uh, we actually talk cutlery strength for purposes of maybe doing some damage on the Pidgeot. You're pretty much here just to set up Stealth Rock and do some damage to Pidgeot. That's pretty much it. We've taught a Psychic to Pringles because Pringles is going to take on the Tentacruel. Hopefully try and do one on one. Uh, we got Water Spite for possibly the Rhyperior if we need to. Choice Bond back on Pastry who's again here to suck a punch things to death. Sorry buddy, you're dead. Craven's been given the Sylvan Cloth back, so hopefully we can do some uh, fake out uh, return shenanigans on the Heracross. And I give Croissant the Rocky Helmet and taught a Grass Knot, because it's going to be our, another way of taking out the right period. So, here we go. I'm not. Uh, we, I would rather have had cr our um, Crobat Orange for the Heracross, but, uh, and just the extra, some extra damage, but look, there's not much we can do about it now. Let's go. Hopefully, this is it. Carla Burr! And the ad, we're both mad to the top. Oh. The problem is that there's only one room for one of us. Quite a dilemma, huh? <laughs> Don't start yet. Last minute guess is about to arrive. Ah! Oh, baby. Well, well Grandpa, how did I let you in? Yeah, certainly, absolutely. Uh -uh. I know what you're going to say, and you can save it, Balrut. The truth is that I don't care which of you two becomes the champion. You could have made it this far, not. You could also quit after getting only a few gym badges. None of that would change how proud I am of you. I ask only one thing of both of you. Enjoy this battle. Have a good time with your Pokemon. Very well. well. I would like to add something else, kind of bad, but you know what it means to be here, don't ya? I'll tell ya. You are one of the best trainers in the world! I love this thing. Do, 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 remix. Motherfuck, Bluey. Right, Pidgeot. So, Stealth Rock for anything. I'm gonna protect. And I think this is where Cutlery goes down. Sorry, buddy, but 
Thank you for setting up Stealth Rocks. Your time has come. Thank you. Now, what do we do about you, Pidgeot? Oh, I, I took away Moonblast, didn't I? Fuck. Cream in. Fake out. Return. That's fine, actually. That's actually f really fine because I'm going to switch in anyway. Perfect. Pidgeot down. There's the Tentacruel in. So now we're going to switch into Pringles. Don't poison me. Good. Protect. Because we've got to, we're going to stall this thing out with Giga Drain, so we're going to have to count the Giga Drains. Or you could use Ice Beam. Psychic. That's one. Protect. Okay. Right. So it's not going to use a fighting move. It's not going to use a fighting move. It's probably going to use Shadow Claw. And if it does, that's perfect. In the cream. Use Shadow Claw. Yes! We kill you with return. Or fake our return. Or just that. That'll do. That'll do absolutely perfectly. That's great. Tentacruel back in. And we're doing the same thing. Back in the Pringles. I think we're going to be okay. Don't poison. Don't poison. Fuck. Right. I need to do this. I need, I need to get the poison off of him. Why would you sludge bomb again? Time to stall. Stall, 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 stall. Uh, this is going to work. Oh, and we're dying. Fuck. That's all I can do here at this point. I think I have to go into cream here. And just whittle this thing down because there's only three Pokemon left. Take out. 
turn. I don't know if this is gonna work. <sighs> what this means is Sucker Punch has to kill. Uh, has to kill the Charizard. Can we live that? Oh, I should have used Psychic. This comes down to whether the Sucker Punch kills Charizard. Come on, Pastry. Choice ban Sucker Punch. Please. Please do it. Please. Yes! 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 And this, this dies to Choice Bad Sucker Punch as well! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> oh, that, that went wrong, that went so wrong, but we did it! We've beaten it on our first attempt! Wow! Oh, yes! Oh, fuck, is that Rocky? Oh, it's a rocky theme. I don't know if, uh, if YouTube let me play that. This match has been the best of my whole life. And for that, I thank you. And I also recognize you are better than me. How does my opponent was the best thing that could have happened to me? <laughs> well, that's the end of my short run. But it's been amazing. <laughs> Fuck up, you guys. I don't care about you. Mm-hmm. I agree. You are both great. Not only have you matured as people, but the bond of you have your Pokemon is worthy of the best masters. And so both of you have achieved glory. Now approach the cup, please. Ah, you know what? I was very close to this cup a long time ago, too. But a certain little person crossed my path. <laughs> <laughs> Old geezer. Well, Balrut, you are officially Canto Runner-Up. This opens many doors for you, believe me, and you'll always continue to challenge the Pokémon League for years to come. The truth is, I've already decided on something. I'll tell you about it when we have more time. As for you, Curti B, I crown you the champion of Kanto, the strongest trainer! Both your name and that of your Pokémon will resonate in the echoes of history. Cutlery! Pringles! Pastry! Orange! Cream! Croissant! We're in the Hall of Fame, baby! <laughs> We've beaten Pokemon Anid, Ralakamoon! We have cleared victory! Wow! Oh, I really like that. That was a really good hack. Um, Again, small things like the AI being a bit you know, silly because it is a fan game, so you're not basing it off you know the actual game itself. But that was really fun. A shirtless Brock. Uh, that was that was fun. I enjoyed it. It's the first time I've actually gone through Kanto properly, if I can recall. A little Phil way, but you know that was a really good game. I, I really enjoyed that. Fantastic. Ah, uh, yeah, that was good. So on our first attempt too. So yeah. Ah, oh, yes, that was good. So. Yes, I'm glad they've got that finished. That's fantastic. I'm going to start on a new ROM hack shortly. Um, I'm not going to reveal uh, just uh, more details about it right now. But it does involve a trip back to the Johto region. Ooh, whatever could he mean? Uh, but yeah, I'll get that uh, set up. Um, we'll start doing that soon. But uh, yeah, all these guys. So this has been a fantastic ROM hack. The creators, everyone who worked on it. Um, well done it's so hard not just even just hacking or creating something from a base game but creating your own game entirely is is something i can never do so well done to all those involved thank you so much uh, it's given me some great you know, times playing this game and uh 
We did it our first attempt. Hardcore does luck all the way. Woohoo! Oh, fantastic. So, everybody, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this journey through Pokemon and Neil. Um, I'm glad. hope you've enjoyed it. Again, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know. If you want me to see to do any other ROM hacks in the future, please let me know on, on this video. Reach out to me on YouTube, on my Discord, and uh, on, on my Twitter. Everything's in the, in the, video, descri in the video description. Reach out. I'm, I'll take requests. Uh, but uh, for now... We're going to get prepared for our new Jodo adventure. So, again, once again, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, again, if you are, always say, if you're a community uh, content creator yourself, subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back to you. Let's grow our community together. With that being said, take it easy, all the best, and good luck, and we'll see you for our next adventure. Bye!